Hello friends and family and good morning from Lakeland, Florida. Today's travels bring us to the Lakeland Antique Mall. They have an incredible assortment of individual vendors. We're going to find really rare items from Walt Disney World, Disneyland, cast member exclusive items, also items from Universal Studios Florida. You never know what you're going to find. And in the back section on the right hand corner, they do have an entire spot of items that are pretty comparable to the Disney character warehouse prices. So we're gonna check out all the outlet items over there as well. But before we get started, if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you're aware of future uploads and live streams, we would greatly appreciate it. Definitely lots of hustle and bustle of traffic today coming in here towards the Lakeland Antique Mall But I did want to mention like you're not going to see too much signage that screams Disney or anything There's just a little sign here in between Chuck E. Cheese and Lowe's that says Antique Mall And before we do head inside I do want to mention if there is any merchandise in today's video that you are interested in Definitely check out our patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box One of the awesome things about coming here though like they do have a very expansive parking lot and also shopping carts in case you plan on buying anything big but they do have items again pertaining to Universal Disney and just like old like repurposed items as well so if you like coca-cola items Pepsi items old figurines they have you covered here before you even head inside the Lakeland Antique Mall though, they have a Magic, King Magic Kingdom Tomorrowland Star Jet that was used over there by, uh, let's see here, Tomorrowland. So that is really cool. Used in Tomorrowland, I should say. That is awesome to see. Right over here are some cast member uh, costumes you can purchase. This one is a, a parking lot cast member where you do get the badge, the shorts, and the shirt. $295. And they do have yet another cast member outfit here. This one is the uh, photo pass. It has like the little Mickey ears and all the little compartments with the Nikon badge for $395. But I'm noticing lots of new happenings in there. This cast member costume right here is from 2014 Tokyo uh, Disney Hippity Hoppity. That's the springtime parade costume, $595, but actually shows like the cast member wearing that. And they do have yet another one over here, also from Tokyo. Like this is crazy cool to see here in Lakeland, Florida. And it looks like they still do have that Magic Kingdom redone uh, turnstile here. It says, Welcome to Magic Kingdom, open 1971, Walt Disney World. And again, this is totally like redone, repainted, really nice quality. And then right over here is a Disneyland Space Mountain ride vehicle. So you're even going to find some of your rare Disneyland items here. Look, at they have a little banner on there. Spring is here. And it's loaded with a bunch of like seven dwarves and cast costumes. I do always like to check out a bunch of the assorted pins here. This one's Disney's Animal Kingdom Cast Adventure 2005. These are all basically like assorted pins, all different things. Like you'll find some here with just Mickey and then Donald Duck. Look at this one here with the uh, Mickey ears and then you have Goofy's hat. But these are all just like various prices. So everything's a little bit different, but they have bins upon bins. These ones here are $8 and up. This one is Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Over here we have uh, Jack and Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. They kind of come together to make a heart. Let's see who else we can find in there. So we have Mrs. Potato Head. This one's the ninth anniversary of Hong Kong Disneyland. That one's a limited release pin. And they do have a really fun one here. Look at that there from Disney's Hollywood Studios with Tinkerbell. Let's see what else we got doing though. Let's see what else we got in the old bin here. So this one's for Star Wars. It says resist. And then let's see, we have a cool Mickey one over there as well. Like I like like the scalloped edging there. He's almost like popping out of a mirror. In the bottom section, there was a good assortment of other items. Like this one here is a 1995 40 years of a Disney. That's really cool. $88 for that. They do have some jumbo pin sets right next door. Uh, Disney pin trading, the uh, jumbo Tinkerbell one, $38. And there's an artist set right there. How cool is that? That's really, really neat. $58 limited to 58 pieces. But they have some really cool statues in the backside there, like the 15 year cast member award with Cinderella Castle. That's $175. And they do have that 50th anniversary Cinderella Castle. 
And here's some of those items from the vault collectibles. They actually have Lil Boo from over at Universal Studios Florida for Halloween Horror Nights. You can actually purchase him here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. And then right up ahead is Blue, one of the uh, Velociraptors at Universal Studios. And now you can purchase this also here at the vault collectibles. And it's a really cool photo op. In this glass case, there's a good assortment of Disney items. Look at this box set with all of the Disney pins. I love Disney pin set of six pins with the box. That's only $65. Right up ahead, they do have the Victor Geist, the original organist from Haunted Mansion. Look at that though, it has the original box and everything. I do believe that does light up as well. That's cool to find here in Lakeland. There's a ginormous statue right across the way here of Tinkerbell. This thing is absolutely massive though. It's probably at least a good two feet tall. Like that's really neat. Let's see what else we got doing. They have a, a Sorcerer Mickey in there as well. This one's from all the way back in 2000. And I don't see the price on that, but that is cool. Also a bunch of like 50th anniversary figurines. They have Miguel from Coco, they have Nemo and Dory, and they do have even more of those 50th anniversary statues like this one here with uh, Mickey and Minnie hugging and comes with the 50th anniversary base. In this cabinet, they do have a bunch of different patches. This one's vintage Huey, Dewey, and Louie. $20 for that one. Here's a rare Walt Disney one for Imagineering. So we're finding even some Imagineering items. That's $30. They have a vintage Disney a Jiminy Cricket patch. It says Walt Disney Productions. And look at this. They even have some Mickey Mouse Club ones. Getting lots of new stuff here in Lakeland, Florida. Right up ahead is the Winnie the Pooh a lounge fly bag. It says, don't feed the bear. You got the backside of Winnie the Pooh. Those are $75, and here's a set of uh, four glassware here. This is actually Disney security, so like you have to be security to purchase these. It has security underneath protecting the magic. Those are $35 for the set of four. And then right up here is a tie-dye stitch plushie. Looks like he's brand new with the tags. I'm not sure which year this was from though, but that's only $60. A few other really cool items that they have in this case as well. These were just released over at Epcot, so it's cool to find them here as well. They have the original Florida Orange Bird, little uh, crossbody bag, and the right next door is the Figment one. I do like the basket pattern. Those are huge patches on the front side of them. And right underneath there is a bunch of uh, Trader Sam's merchandise. Like they have a huge ceramic tiki mug for $50. They do have the grand opening limited release pin there for Trader Sam's. It says 2015. That one is $125. This is the great thing about coming here to the Lakeland Antique Mall though. It's literally just rows and rows of different vendors. Like each vendor actually sells something a little bit different. Like I was saying, not all Disney and Universal, but all that merchandise is literally as soon as you come inside the Antique Mall. Like this booth here is a really fun Elvis Presley statue. He has the guitar upside down. $88 for them. And here's a bunch of like vintage Elvis Presley Christmas ornaments. These are $15 a piece. I'm a big fan of Elvis though. Look at this, you get a bunch of different poses there. This one's like a classic one with his suit on. It says live in Las Vegas. You have the Hayride Tour. That's really neat. This is what I mean though, like each row is actually by the alphabet. So we have E, F, G, all of these go completely all the way back and sell different merchandise. Like there's a really cool photo op that they do have of Spider-Man. In this case here is a bunch of Disney Park lounge fly bags. This one is Bo Peep and then you have Woody. I like the row pattern with the uh, heart. That's the zipper compartment for $70. Over here is a Disney Parks lounge fly with the Incredibles. You have all of the characters from Mrs. Incredibles. Incredible, Mr. Incredible, Edna Mode. That's $55. And they do have like a ruby red a sequence lounge fly bag back there. And it even comes with a matching pair of ears. These are all brand new though. $225 for that set. And here's a uh, Dooney and Burke crossbody bag from Winnie the Pooh. This is also brand new. It has all of the characters from Rabbit to Eeyore to Tigger. It has the leather um, signage here on the side for Winnie the Pooh. And then right underneath there are a bunch of like smaller signs bags like these are lounge fly like this is a little one for Disney Cruise Line with all the sequins that one is $70 it looks like they do have a couple different color options with the sequins in the back section like they have the smaller size ruby red one and then your rose gold those are $80 a piece and a good amount of like different pairs of ears that they do have this is the uh, Disney Animal Kingdom giraffe ears for $45 also a set of three different Christmas ornaments from uh, Disney's Haunted Mansion 
with the Hatbox Ghost, Madame Leota, you do have the Bride. Those are $90, but they'll even get some more like uh, higher end items like Kate Spade and Disney items, like this smaller size crossbody bag for 200 also in the same case, how about this, for 2011 Disney Cruise Line, they have Sailing to Alaska totem pole figurine. That's only $35 with Mickey. You have a Goofy and Donald Duck. That looks really cool. It has the uh, Cruise Line logo right underneath. And here's a, a Disneyland peace hat there with the embroidered Mickey hands. Those are $35. Some really cool photo ops in the back room here. Here's a sign from Universal Orlando. Halloween Horror Nights Never Go Alone 30. So you could purchase just that here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Also some signage from the Cursed Coconut Club over at Universal Studio City Walk. What I like about the items here at Lakeland Antique Mall, like it actually shows you like where the items were used, like an exact picture of where they were inside. Like that is just really neat. Also from Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. This one's from HHN 29. Back in 2019, they do have the Hillbilly Deluxe Scare Zone Dragula car. That was the photo op. Now you can see it here at uh, Lakeland Antique Mall, but you can actually like get your picture taken and whatnot. Like everything is it's in, inside of its original condition from the rims, like the lights are still lit. Even like the leather seats look really neat. It's like that uh, quilted pattern. And check out the steering wheel. It's a skull. I should say the shifter is a skull with a hand. And then the steering wheel itself is made out of wood. I do want to head a little bit further inside Lakeland Antique Mall though and see what else we can find. So here's even more baskets of assorted Disney pins. It looks like they do have some from uh, Splash Mountain inside of this pin. Here's a really fun one as well. Like look at this one of Stitch. I feel like this is a really cool like a uh, springtime pin with Stitch. Also in this one here, we do have a, a Disneyland one as well with the uh, balloon there. That one is only $8.99, so a really good deal. And here's some back from back in 2022 for Flower and Garden Festival. A little dirt never hurt with Mickey. That one's $12.99. In the glass case though, they do have a really cool statue of Figment. So look at the little pot of gold that says Epcot Center. This is a nice size statue as well with the wings on the backside. And they do have a Disney Parks Lounge Fly with the original Florida Orange Bird for Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. So you do actually have to ask the vendor for some prices on some of these items. Like here is another one. This was just released at the Disney Parks with Stitch. He's like playing inside of a sand castle and the attachments do move which is really neat. And they do have another little one here of the original Florida Orange Bird. That's $45. Inside of this basket here is a good assortment of Disney Park ears. And these are lounge fly actually with the simulated leather and then the toned down sequence. These are great though. It has your lounge fly badge. Over here is another newer pair of Disney Park ears with Baymax. You got like the embroidered, um, let's see here, little attachments there on the side with the band-aids. That is $30. And it looks like they do also have the uh, Flower and Garden Festival lounge fly ears. So they do have a little bit of everything like current and a little bit older. And here's another awesome pair of lounge fly ears from over at Epcot with all of the characters on the bow from Remy. You have uh, Nemo on there and lots of different characters. The same booth has a good assortment of different coffee mugs as well though. Like this is like a 3D effect of Stitch. That one is $12.99. Let's see who else we can find here. They do have one from A Nightmare Before Christmas that comes with a little stirrer. You have Sally on there as well. Zero's on the opposite side with Jack. $15.99 for that one. Even Winnie the Pooh has some coffee mugs over in this section. This one is like a huge honey pot with Pooh there with some bumblebees. It even says honey on the side, $14.99. On the walls, a bunch of different framed artworks that they do have. This one's from Splash Mountain, and it comes with the uh, poster and the frame for $35. Right up ahead is Cinderella Castle Mystery Tour. I don't think this was here my last visit from over at Disneyland Tokyo. $35 for that one. They have Fly Eastern. Let's see here, Walt Disney World with the uh, Tiki Birds. You've got the uh, monorail there, Magic Kingdom, a little bit of everything. Also finishing out the uh, framed pieces they do have have is uh, the original Florida Orange Bird from over at Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom with all the Dole Whips for 35 they do have so many really cool things at this booth though. Like how about this Walt Disney World 50th anniversary statue. This is so crazy cool to see here at the Lakeland Antique Mall from It's a Small World. $79.99 for that. They do have some Disney Park Munchlings here. This one is actually in the original packaging of Remy. 
This one's actually scented as well, $26. Underneath there, they do have a brand new uh, Disney Parks cup. It says Walt Disney World. You have Cinderella Castle and then all of the Beacons of Magic with your Starbucks logo on the opposite side for $30. Here's a few more current items that they do have, like the collectible figurine of Minnie Mouse for the uh, Disney 100 collection. That's $12.99. Even some more Starbucks drinkware that they do have that's literally still, still sold in the parks. They have the uh, studded cup here with uh, Minnie Mouse. It says Walt Disney World. And then you have your Starbucks logo. $39.99. So that's actually cheaper than the price in the parks. And then over here is your uh, stainless steel Disney's Hollywood Studios cup with your Starbucks logo on the back side. That's $39.99. The booth right across the corner has an awesome plushie of figment for 2024 Epcot International Festival of the Arts. That is $30. Then right up ahead they do have a bunch of different Disney 100 pins. I don't think I've seen these before. These are part of D23. That's really cool to see some really unique pins here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. 101 Dalmatians. We have Maleficent. Even Belle and the Beast in the backside. That set of pins is $200. Definitely a little bit pricey. But here's another statue that's actually still sold over at the uh, Disney Character Warehouse. This one's like a collectible vinyl figurine of Figment on top of Spaceship Earth. And then he's holding a rainbow. Let's see what else we got doing here though. They do have a, a Darth Vader little helmet. And then right over here, this is Disney, let's see, Donald Duck Williams Mickey Goofy Donald print. Okay, definitely a little bit of a tongue twister. It's Mickey doing a bunch of gardening with the topiary. $90 for that. And here's a Disney Cruise Line frame treasure print. Okay, cool. That's really cool. Disney treasure. That one is $70. They do also have a really fun Pluto. Let's see here. Okay, so this is the popcorn bucket. It looks like he is missing the uh, shoulder strap, though, from Christmas. He comes with a little bone. Right next door is an awesome plushie of Mickey Mouse, like dressed up as the Easter Bunny. But this same booth does have some really cool items, like the Sheriff Woody doll. It actually has the little pull string on the backside with all the different character phrases. That is $29 and yet another popcorn bucket from the Disney parks. They are completely stocked up this visit. In the back wall section of this booth, they have a ton of assorted Disney park ears. They do have some cool Haunted Mansion ones with the uh, bride with the flowers. It comes with the veil. Those are $24 a pair. Here's a pair that I haven't seen before. These are purple silver bow ears, they're calling these. That's really neat, though. I do like the uh, polka dots on the bow. This would have been perfect, I feel like, for Valentine's Day with all the embroidered little hearts on there in the fuchsia color. And then they do have that simulated leather pair that was just at the character warehouses not too long ago with all the Mickeys there on the ears, the archway with Mickey that says Walt Disney World. And they do have another, let's see here, Loungefly pair as well. Like this is cool with R2-D2. It says Star Wars Loungefly on the side. In the glass case at this booth is a Disney Vintage Recreation Ticket with envelope inside of the frame, $300. It says Walt Disney World Recreation Coupons. That's really neat though with the Mickey and then like the dollar amount. But underneath there, what really caught my eye, they do have a Vintage a Rare Splash Mountain Cup, $125 for that. And they do have the 40th anniversary over there at Epcot, the huge figment popcorn bucket for $75. And literally just one booth over. Right now we're in aisle J. That booth was over there. This one has a bunch of Disney awesome items. Marathon 95, Walt Disney World with Mickey Mouse a bunch of times. $125. And then over here is a really fun print from Disney's Animal Kingdom with all the classic Disney characters. You even get Simba and Baloo. That is $200. It looks like they do have like a, a Mickey snowman one. This is really neat though. Like the sleigh actually has Mickey Mouse on it. Definitely very retro what they did with the frame. And how crazy cool is this from Disney's Pop Century Resort. They actually have one of the no parking signs. It has the original base on it and everything. I do want to see if I can find the price. That is $300. And it looks like they do have a pin trading uh, cast member vest here as well. 
Okay, so it actually has the patch on the front for pin trading. $140 for them. And then right over here from the brand new Walt Disney World Eats collection, they do have another new item. This is the huge fanny pack with all of the different Disney stacks. We have the Mickey Cheeseburger, you got the churros, and then the patch on the front for $40. The same booth, though, has this really fun vintage uh, Sorcerer Mickey plushie clock. That's $35. It actually works, and it's a Mickey uh, plushie. That's really unique. Over here, you have a Happy Easter Magic Band for $30. That's actually limited to, let's see here, 3,000 pieces. And underneath there, they do have a good assortment of, like, vintage uh, leather strap watches. That's a whole lot of 17. None of these are tested, it says. But they have, like, the 25th anniversary of Walt Disney World, Minnie Mouse there holding the uh, like the Statue of Liberty that one's really cool Mickey and Steamboat Willie all of these though 17 for a hundred and ninety dollars I do think next up though I want to head to the back section of the Lakeland Antique Mall that's where they have a good selection of like Disney Resort used items and lots of things that you'll find over at the Disney Character Warehouse and the prices are very very comparable as I'm making my way back there though I did want to point out a couple of the different plushies that they do have this is part of the main attraction series of Dumbo the Flying Elephant number 8 of 12 of the series these were uh, with the original tags as well with the uh, main attraction patch on the bottom um, $25 from $35. They do have some like vintage Mickey and Minnie ones. This one's actually from uh, Minnie Mouse from last year's Christmas celebration. Right up ahead is the large munchling. This is also scented of a Minnie Mouse. She's like a little Minnie Mouse cupcake for $26. And they do have a couple other items over here I do want to show you. Like this is actually brand new at the Disney parks. They have your 2024 uh, Mickey Mouse tumblers here. These are Starbucks with the ombre color. $40 a piece for them and then right up ahead these are perfect for Halloween I feel like Halloween is right around the corner the way things go here in Central Florida but it's embroidered with the uh, ghost it says boo wearing the Mickey ears and then you do have the Mickey uh, jack-o-lantern those are $13 and they do have last year's lounge fly ears here for the uh, Christmas celebration with the Mickey and Minnie wreaths let's head to the back section though of row J and I'll show you guys all the awesome happenings like you could already see like the big Christmas trees they have a huge uh, Mickey Mouse shape wreath here all of these were used at like the Disney theme parks and resorts this one over here though is absolutely massive on this whole rack, they do have an entire section of Red Coconut Club Garland from Universal Studios. You can buy it by the strand, and it has the original lights. Those are $75 a strand. Let's actually see what else we have on here, though. This, so this set here is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh, that's way awesome. $125 for them. Let's take a closer look, though, on this section, though. Like, look at how ornate these uh, Christmas wreaths are with all the fancy bright colors. Looks like you got some flowers, some coral, and they even come with a bow. That's from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, $195. But this entire section in the backside is literally just all like resort Christmas trees. They even have some framed prints here. This comes with the print and the frame from Disney's All-Star Resort. You have Pluto, it says wind there. He's playing basketball. Those are only $20 a piece. And then they over here is an entire section, literally just more Christmas trees. You have a Harry Potter display over here, $125 for that one. Here's another Harry Potter one. It's a flocked holiday from the Tribute Store for $195. I always like to check out some of the different chairs here because you never know where they were used. Like this is a leather-backed one from Epcot Japan chair. It looks like they do have two of these for $50 a piece. Then right over here is a very fancy wooden chair. They do have a couple of them for $40 each. These were used at Disney's Caribbean Beach. So these are actually pirate chairs. And right next door is a smaller size table that would have been used in the resorts. This is a little concierge table from Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Like you can see how it has like the rope kind of etched in there. Those are $50. Here's the entire section of merchandise though that we'd kind of find over at the Character Warehouse. This is a whole Disney Frozen 2 Castle playset. $70 for them. Underneath there is a bunch of assorted uh, beach towels. This is really cool though. It says Mickey Mouse Original 1928 Walt Disney World. $10 for that one. And they do have yet another one. This one's like a circle design with a Minnie Mouse and a bunch of flowers for $10. 
lots of different drinkware that they do have peppered throughout. This is Love Our Disney theme parks. $7.99 for a stainless steel cup from Walt Disney World. That is so crazy cool. And then right next door, part of the Disney sketchbook series of Christmas ornaments, they do have the uh, Daisy Duck one. This is still sold at the Character Warehouse. $6.99 for that. And then over here is a Star Wars holocron for $20. You really have to take a moment though to check everywhere over here because I found a really fun Disney print of Tinkerbell. Like how cool is this? It has a Disney insignia and it's signed by the artist on the bottom. These are only $19.95. And it looks like they do have like last year's Christmas celebration uh, studded Starbucks cups with the ombre color. Those are $30 a piece. And here's a really fun Avengers coffee mug. Let's see, team up. Save the world and repeat with all of the Avengers. This one is cracked on the bottom on the little bit, but though, that's only $2. On the bottom shelf, they do have a brand new Disney Parks popcorn bucket from the new Disney Wish movie, $17.99. Then right up ahead are a couple other ones that they do have. They have a Donald Duck sipper. Actually comes with the uh, Disney Parks lanyard with a Donald, look at him there. This is from uh, the Halloween collection. And then over here from the Lion King, they do have the Timon zippers. Really neat though, because that also has the 25th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. That's only $7.99. Up ahead, they have even more like 50th anniversary items. Let's see what we got doing. We have the Minnie Mouse doll with all the accessories from the dress. You get the shoes and an extra jacket for $40. Even some more current items that are still sold in the Disney theme park. This is a little night light in the shape of a balloon with Mickey Mouse on the front, $9.99. And here is a, a Navi collectible figurine from Pandora over at uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. That set is $15. And how about the um, really heavy cup that they do have from Marvel with like that candy cane stripe pattern. It comes with a bright red lid, $11.99. Then here's a huge Cinderella Castle playset. This thing is absolutely massive. It does look like it's missing Daisy Duck, but you get Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, and Donald. And then the huge Cinderella Castle, that's $80. It looks like they even are starting to get some uh, Disney new emos here. Like how crazy is that? They have Edna Mode for only $3. Here's another item from the brand new Play in the Park collection. You get a whole set of different PVC figurines from uh, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Chip and Dale. You have a uh, Donald and Daisy Duck, $14.99 for that set. And then right underneath there is a huge 2024 like Peterbilt truck with a Mickey and Minnie and the huge 2024 logo. These are actually really cool. That's still sold in the uh, like World of Disney and the theme parks. $11.99 for them. And they even have some Disney Star Wars fighter pilot helmets. These are sold over at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Only $55 though, like this is an exact replica. They have a couple different offerings. In the same section is a, a Hollywood Tower Hotel lounge fly bag. It has your Disney Parks lounge fly badge on the side. The back side says drop in anytime. But check out the front here. The doors actually do open up to show Mickey, Minnie, and then you have the characters on the outside. These are $55 a piece. Then over here is that camping style coffee mug. This one is stainless steel on the inside. It says Walt Disney World a bunch of times on both sides. Only $6. And then right over here is kind of like the matching throw blanket. This is that quilted pattern. You can see like all the Mickeys and Cinderella Castle. Then it says Walt Disney World on the front. Those are $20. They even have an entire section dedicated to Star Wars and Marvel. They have your old school collectible figurines. These are $7.99, but it does look like that's the only character that they do have at the moment. Some Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse fig figurines. These are the Marvel Legends series. They do have Jessica Drew. $12.99 for her but check this out they have an entire section of like the infinity gauntlets like how crazy is that those are only $20 a piece also from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is an awesome Droid Depot backpack I do believe this is even still sold in the parks it has the Droid Depot badge at the bottom these are $33 each. That's a really good deal for that though. And here's some uh, little Groot plushies from Walt Disney World as well. They are originally $30 each. Now here at the Lakeland Antique Mall for only $16.
Also some really awesome Star Wars Galaxy's Edge statues that are in the original packaging. $75 for the Maz Kanata statue. And then over here they do have the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi statue. This is the bust where he's holding the lightsaber. That one doesn't have the price but that's really cool to see. Also from the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, they do have the lightsaber sets here. These are only $30, marked down from $55. But there is racks and racks of different clothing articles. I do want to dive in though and see some of the different offerings that they have. So here's some long sleeve shirts. This is like your Under Armour No Sweat material for Run Disney 2022. You have the Genie from Aladdin 2 Course Challenge, 19.3 miles. Here's a lime green shirt. This actually matches like that uh, blanket that we saw on the coffee mug with the uh, retro design there with Walt Disney World, $11.99 for them. And then over here, Let's see what we got doing. Okay, so this is from Disney Pixar Soul, another Run Disney shirt for $14. It looks like they do have the matching full zip hoodies here with that same design as the t-shirt for $25. There's some good stuff on these racks so that I don't see too frequently. Like here's a Hocus Pocus spirit jersey. It's time for a little Hocus Pocus. Then you have a huge graphic of all three Sanderson sisters. Now that one doesn't have the price tag but that's really cool to see. Actually it says Hocus Pocus on the front. And then over here is a newer design t-shirt that, that was just sold over at World of Disney not too long ago. It says just along for the ride with some Florida palm trees and the monorail with Cinderella Castle. Those are $10. And it looks like they do also have last year's uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party long sleeve shirts. These are $19. You got Mickey as Santa Claus. Also on the racks over in this section is a Disney Wish full zip jacket. It's embroidered with the cruise logo, $37.99. But on the hood, you can see like the Disney Wish, the uh, cruise logo with the Mickeys. I love that. That's really cool. Here's a t-shirt with the like retro spirit jersey logos. You do have Cinderella Castle on there. And these triangular designs, $19.99 for that. Over here, let's see what we got doing. This is another new graphic t-shirt. It says, make your own magic, Walt Disney World. You have like all the main Disney characters on the front. That one is $12. Right behind there, let's see what we got. Okay, so this is actually a brand new release to Walt Disney World. This is crazy to see here at the uh, Lakeland Antique Mall with the palm trees, you got the ocean, and then Minnie Mouse hanging out for $12. A little bit further down, this booth has a good assortment of different Disney items. This is a huge statue of Cinderella Castle. It comes on the wooden base. I'm trying to find the price there. That is, okay, so that's very expensive, $1,000 for that. But underneath there is a cool Disney Cruise Line Christmas ornament. Look at that though, with Mickey and Minnie for Alaska for Disney Wonder 2020. Those ones don't have the price, but they do have another Disney Cruise Line 2020. It's always cool though to check inside these different cabinets and see what type of Disney items you can find. Like they do have the huge Disney 100 statue of Mickey Mouse, and I do believe that's on sale right now at Walt Disney World. Let's head on over to the back section and check out all the merchandise from the Vault Collectibles. They have a great selection of all items that are used at Disney theme parks, resorts, and over at Universal Studios. Like they have some Hollywood Studios Christmas garland. These do have the original lights with all of the ornaments. $125 for them. Like this one has a little gingerbread guy on it. And then over here, this is from Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. They do have the original like lighting that would have been used in the resort or in the, uh, let's see here, like go into your room with the bears and then the the trees. Those are $179. And underneath there, they do also have another one used from Disney's Wilderness Lodge, $129. Over here is a Bambi artwork. Oh, how cool is that from Boulder Ridge? That's really neat, $125. But again, it shows you where exactly it was used. 
Here's one of the lamps of Mickey Mouse. It was actually used over at Disney's Yacht Club. It has the little on and off switch on the bottom. This is $250, but it's very, very heavy with Mickey wearing a Mickey hat. It even has the original top there. Right over here is a award with no plaque, it says, of Mickey Mouse. That one is $80. Also from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, they do have one of the Tiki God lamps left over. And again, like these all have the original lampshades. The Tiki God is huge though and very heavy, $280 from Disney's Boardwalk Resort. They do have a little dainty uh, Minnie Mouse lamp. How nice is this though for like a bedroom? It has the little on and off switch on the side. Again, with the original lampshade for $170. Let's head a little bit further in the back section though and see what else we can find. They do have some Star Wars Hollywood Studios. Visit Walt Disney World Resort today. So that's an old sign used around the theme parks. Underneath there though, I haven't seen this one before. This almost looks like it's airbrushed on there. This says here, Disney Springs Mickey Canvas that was used at Disney Springs, $195 for that. And then it looks like they do have another lampshade from Disney's Wilderness Large Lodge. This was a uh, ceiling light, $72 for them. They have uh, Polynesian Village Resort lamps here. And again, this is all mounted, ready to go. It comes with a light and everything. A bunch of different items here that were used at Universal Studios. Like, I want to head back here and check everything out. These are all Scooby-Doo characters. Villain created Universal. They have uh, Dracula, $2,000. They actually put some Shrek 4D glasses, which you could purchase still here from the closed attraction over at Universal Studios Florida. But lots and lots of different characters in the backside of Scooby-Doo. They're all different prices. This one, this villain here, the clown is $750. And how about this guy just lurking in the back there? I love the face that he's making. That one is $850. But I did want to mention those Shrek for the 3D glasses. You can still purchase those here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. $5 a piece for them. And they do have a bunch of the props here that were actually used at the attraction for Shrek 4D. Like they have the three boxes for the three little pigs. I feel like that is absolutely incredible like a really cool piece of universal history. Also from the Shrek 4D attraction is the Iron Maiden cage. This is crazy cool. $8,500, definitely very expensive, but it does show you exactly where everything was used at the attraction. They even have the original signage from the Jurassic World Tribute Store over at Universal Studios. They have it hanging by these really heavy duty chains. For humor though, I do want to see how much this is. That is $2,500 and it shows you exactly where that was hanging over at Universal Studios Florida. Let's actually come in this section though and see what else we can find. So they have some prints here of Hello Kitty and Jurassic Park. These are actually still sold at Universal Studios. These are $30 each and then they do have Hello Kitty and Back to the Future. Another little Boo wall art sign that they have from Universal Studios. This one was used for HHN 2023, Trick or Seek. That is $495. And then over here is another new addition. They have the Earl the Squirrel one. Let's see what we got doing. It says Earl the Squirrel character was used as part of Universal Studios 2023 Holiday Hunt, $240. Here's some different drinkware that they do have from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This is Halloween Horror Nights 2019. So if you did miss out on some of this merchandise, you can still get it here. $30 for that cup. Right next door is the Stranger Things 4 one with Vecna. This one's really neat as well. That one is a little bit cheaper for $25. Some of the classic characters, they have the Caretaker and then Jack the Clown. Those ones are $25 a piece. They even have some of the little Boo uh, leftover sippers. Let's see, $25 for them. In the back section is also still that train from Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. It has the R&R. They even put a huge... Uh, Goofy on the backside there with his top hat. That's really cool. I do want to check out some of the offerings though underneath. They have even more Disney Resort used furniture. This is from Disney's Yacht Club Resort. You do get the uh, chair with the ottoman, $295 with all of the ship anchors. So they have the chair with the ottoman or you can purchase just the chair. And then over in this section is another chair. This is from Disney's Boardwalk Resort. It has this cool design with all of like the little like ball designs here on the sides, even on the arms. Those are $175. And then over here is a Disney corporate item. 
to, with appreciation to Patsy Bailey at Disney Corporation, you do get two different collector coins, $195. Even more framed prints here from Disney's All-Star Resort. How about this one with Donald Duck with all the music notes there? He has the symbols, $45 only. That's pretty massive. They do have yet another one here of Donald Duck. So a bunch of different offerings that they do have of items that were used over at Disney's All-Star Resort. Also from Disney's Grand Floridian, they do have this one from Alice in Wonderland. This is such like a classic design. These were actually used in the resort. And here's a cast member retirement plaque. It says, thanks Frank, Mickey and the gang. And it comes on this wooden plaque with Mickey Mouse, $195 for that. Crazy to see cast member items. Over here is a Disney World prop window copper pot so it doesn't say exactly where this was used like on Walt Disney World property but those are $65 I do want to come here to the back section though and see what else we can find so here's a 25th anniversary marching band smock from over at Disney's Magic Kingdom $425 for them but yeah this is so awesome like they have some resort pillows over in this section i do want to see where the stripe one was used it has a little tag here so these are 12 dollars a piece it doesn't say which resort those were used in but they do have another like throw pillow on this back section oh, that's really neat these are from disney saratoga springs resort some old signage here happy birthday mickey from back in 2017 that's 250 dollars they have a 2017 happy new year one with the fireworks and then mickey mouse that's 165 dollars but how about some of the items that they have like this sign here was actually used at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. It's a vintage sign, $895. Please pardon the inconvenience. This area is under construction. And they do have a whole framed print here with Goofy as Santa Claus. Looks like you get two of them though. Like they're actually signed by the artist on the bottom. Just like the Grand Floridian sign, they do have one for Disney's Boardwalk Resort. To please pardon their dust, it says Disney's Boardwalk. And then thank you, $695 for them. And underneath there, they do have a good assortment of like different Disney Resort used mirrors. This first one is a smaller one used at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, $45. Right behind there though, you can see how much bigger the other one is from Disney's Wilderness Lodge, $65 for them. And here's another one actually from Disney's uh, Yacht Club. It has like the rope design with the Mickey on the top. These are 125. They do even have some really old Lionel electric train cars. These are in $70 a piece. It says Mickey's brand. That's really, really cool. I've never seen these before. Like, look at this one. You have Goofy dressed up as Elvis. Ain't nothing but a dreamer. He's just hanging out there sleeping. That one is $75. But they have so many different ones. Grizzly Flats Railroad, $225. Here's yet another one. This is 20 magical years of Walt Disney World. Inside of this case is a good assortment of different like hard hats. Like this one here was used over at Disneyland. Let's see, $595. Back there is an Imagineering helmet for $400 for Florence, one of the cast members. And then underneath there, I do want to check out what this figment is. So this is a figment animatronic skin. That is so crazy from over at Epcot. It actually shows you the exact animatronic it was taken off of. That's $3,495. Some really cool items at this booth, like here's a fancy dress shirt for Walt Disney World Imagineering. You have Sorcerer Mickey, like he's embroidered on there. This was like part of Imagineering, it says Imagineering exclusive. That is $55. You never know what you're going to find on these racks. Like here's another one, this one is a pink one in color for $50. Then over on the opposite side, this is, let's see here, a dish, a official Disney convention. It says Goon Squad with Mickey Mouse. That shirt is $95, but that one has two buttons on the front. And it looks like they do have a bunch of assorted statues. Touch of Sparkle Tree Topper with uh, Tinkerbell 100 and $65 for that. But right behind there is a ginormous statue of uh, Little Mermaid and Friends. This is cool though with Flounder, $325. And then they do have some of your 50th anniversary Starbucks studded tumblers here with your Starbucks logo on the backside. These are originally $50, now 17. 
I had such a fun time today hanging out here in Lakeland, Florida at the Lakeland Antique Mall. It's such like a Disney treasure trove. If you're looking for rare Disney pins, Disney ears, cast member exclusive items, like even items used at Walt Disney World property and Disneyland, they have you covered here. They have a little bit of everything at different price ranges and a good assortment of items that were used at Universal Studios Florida. That being said, if you are interested in any of the merchandise in today's video, definitely check out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.